What are you still uh, toying with the idea of the puppet act, or where are you telling me? Oh about... no, no, I, uh, what, you want to hear that guy? I, I just remember you telling me you were working on a ventriloquist act. Yeah, we don't call it puppet act, but thanks a lot, man, for the respect. <laughs> <laughs> the new thing, the new thing is, as you call it, the puppet act. We call it <laughs> ventriloquism. Oh, I'm sorry. Like I didn't want post, I didn't want you to be slumming there. It's kind of postmodern ventriloquism where the he almost uh, the act almost uh, you know talks about the the, the non existence of the you know he, he cops to the fact that it's an inanimate object. Ah, I like You've heard that. that. A reductivist approach. To yes, that, and they've also I've noticed they've exchanged. You know, they used to just have the wood, like you, your joke would work, the lathe, back in the, in the late 70s when you told it, right? But now, <laughs> <laughs> they've replaced the, the Charlie McCarthy's with these giant, much more likable Muppet-type characters. Oh, right, right, right. Right, so it would be like a... Because they, they found they were making too many movies where the, <laughs> where the antagonist of the film was a ventriloquist dummy. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing but pure evil. Right. So then the ventriloquists are going, oh my God, this is not going to be good for my act. The malevolence <laughs> factor. So they went to a, like sort of a sleeping bag with a face on it, the yeah, big exactly. plush thing. That's what it looks like. Uh -huh. But uh, no, Rusty's wood, my guy. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a second. You could save her egg and you have to isolate that quote that that is going to be played regularly on this show. Rusty's wood. My guy is the funniest thing I've ever heard. Yeah, man. Oh, tell me about Rusty. <laughs> hey, what another guy canceled? I don't know. What's Rusty look like? What, Rusty? I oh, know, I'll get him out of the bag in a minute, but listen, that is... <laughs> well, listen, Norman, I can't tell you how good it is to hear from you. You know I think you're a genius. Wait, you know I love you. Wait, is it over? Well, we got to... I'm coming... I haven't played a commercial yet this hour. And, and... No, but are we, go... are we going to do another bit after the commercial? Can you stay? Hold on, man. Let me ask Rusty. <laughs> <laughs> We'll be right back with the guys on the Dennis Miller Show. Starring, is his name Sandy? Rusty. Rusty. What? Rusty. How many, how, many, uh, uh, how many puppets do you have? I got three. Three in the bag? Yeah, I got, uh, I got them cheaper because there were three. But I, these are not cheap. I paid a pretty penny for them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, uh, one of them worked with uh, Paul Winchell. <laughs> This guy was a fortune, and uh, then he's uh, one guy. Rusty's the main guy, and plus I got a book. <laughs> I do it, you know. Hold on a sec. What the? Uh, that's just Gervitz phoning. He's, he's phoning to ask me if uh, I'm I'm on with you guys. Should I take it? <laughs> well, Gervitz checking up on you. We're all somebody's puppet, Norm. You know, that's yeah, exactly. our plight in life. Wait, not, what, why do you keep saying puppet? Jeez, man. <laughs> I don't know. What we, these personas that you have. Anyway, now, uh, to me... What's the Winchell... Much, uh, real, they're as real as uh, yeah. you know, anything real. Like a person. Well, how... I, I don't... I the, have three... One's uh, Rusty. He's my, as it says in the book, he's my uh, main man, <laughs> and he's just like an everyman. You know, he, this guy will say anything. And then there's uh, one puppet that's no good at all. That uh, he's just he's an old guy and he's uh, cranky about everything, right? <laughs> but also, he doesn't believe the Holocaust has. <laughs> he's like the worst. Puppet character ever, like you know, and everyone I never watch. I never use them because it always comes back to that. Steve in Vermont, the puppet isn't Steve in Vermont. No, he's the worst man. The guy's like the guy's just first of all, he's playing wrong. <laughs> <laughs> he's not like an evil guy; just ignorant. <laughs> Go mental D, but anyway, the and the third one's Richard Nixon. <laughs> Actually, you can talk to any of them. I don't care. I, I know I'm not talking to I'm not talking to old man Jenkins. <laughs> <laughs> I am not a puppet. Thank you, Norm. Norm, the last time I talked to you, you were working with a puppet. Does that still hold true? 
Why? They're not called puppets, man. Oh, I'm sorry. What are they? Ventriloquist uh, dummies. <laughs> <laughs> and even that is a little uh, epithetic. But uh, <laughs> what 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 would you what would you imagine they'd like to be called in a perfect? Well, world? I call them my friends. Yes, of course. <laughs> <laughs> my friends in the bag. <laughs> Christian wanted me to do this, but I don't I don't know where that bag is. <laughs> what, what, were, what were some of the puppets? Who, who was your Rat Pack in there? I, I had the... well, I had my my regular guy Brad. <laughs> he's my he's just my buddy, you know. And then I, I got this old man, and I had trouble with him. He's he's too cranky. Right, right. And it turned out. I don't even want. I don't even want to mention it, what, what he believed. And weren't you? Weren't you also beginning to work with a young Chippewa girl? <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> now, that one was too expensive. <laughs> I, <don't, laughs> I wish I could find my Richard Nixon doll because now they have that Frost Nixon debate. Yes. And I, I do have a Richard Nixon doll. Uh-huh. Uh huh. I don't. I, now I'm calling him a doll, but. Um, <laughs> He's somewhere, but I, I haven't even started working with him on the road because uh, I'm not very good at it yet. No, no. If you use the Nixon doll, you have to hold him, hold his arms up, and have him say, "I am not a doll." Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and then you'll, you know, what will happen? Then, oddly enough, as in Rosemary Woods Land, you'll be greeted by 17 and a half minutes of silence. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that impression was. I would say that's about equal to Frank Langella's. <laughs> I thought it was pretty good. No I'm, I'm, no, I'm serious. Thank you. Frank Langella sucks. <laughs> <laughs> what do you like to do during the days in San Fran to unwind? Do you go? I just work on my ventriloquism. Oh, you're, that, how's that going, Norm? It's going great, man. I, I thought Rusty and I would do a little holiday song for you. Oh, you're kidding me. Let me kick back here and put my feet up in front of the fire, you and Rusty. Which puppet is Rusty? Refresh me. Rusty's just my friend. You know, I, I'm having a lot of trouble with my uh, cranky old man. Uh, mm -hmm. I don't know if you remember old Alec Majerison, the virulent anti-Semite. Yeah, sure, I remember. What are you kidding me? I have a I have a plaque commemorating my first meeting. I'm trying to get I'm trying to get rid of that guy because you know you know he's a Holocaust denier. That's no secret. <laughs> He's an enthusiastic Holocaust denier, <laughs> and I've had it up to here with this character, you know? The man <laughs> he's just a waste of wood. But I don't know what to do. One of my Jewish friends suggested that, uh, you know, why don't I just throw him in a fire and burn him? But I say two wrongs don't make a right. <laughs> you know? Gotta go. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> we're not here to talk about that. Uh, let me get Rusty out here. Rusty. Uh -oh. Rusty, say hello to Dennis. Mm. Hey, Dennis. How, you, how are you? Hey, Rusty. What? Hi, Rusty. Who, hey, who's the dummy here? Me or you? <laughs> it's me. It sounds like it's you. I'm sorry, Rusty. Let me give you my man voice. Hey, Rusty. How are you doing? Yeah, dummy. Hey, come on now, <laughs> Rusty. That's ridiculous. <laughs> Calling Dennis Miller a dummy on his own. Uh -huh. Radio program. No, what, can I jump in here for a second and tell you? Here's how crazy Norm is. I'm sitting here believing that he actually has a puppet. Like it, it's not enough for him to fake the puppet act on the radio and over the phone. He's actually you did pull out a puppet and have it on your arm right now, don't you? Of course, I have a my pal Rusty here. <laughs> yeah. What do you boys have planned for us today, Rusty Norm? We're going to do a song, according to this dummy. Would you stop calling me that? You're the dummy. You're the dummy. Now, listen. We're going to do a song, a beautiful song. Why? By the way, Rusty, what are you doing for Christmas? Are you going to see your family? Oh, sure. In my family tree, it's a natural tree. Okay, now that's just ridiculous. <laughs> you're actually overlapping dialogue here, Norm. You're not even putting a second between you and the puppet's voice. Now, Ru <laughs> Rusty. Are you ready to sing that song with me? Sure. There you go. Okay, I'll start. Here we go. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer had a very shiny nose. And if you ever saw him, you would say that he was a drunk. <laughs> hey, come on! <laughs> well, that's ridiculous. What the? Come on, now, this don't ruin This is a classic. I'm sorry. All right, now let's continue. Then one foggy Christmas Eve, Santa came to town. Rudolph, with your nose so bright, have you been drinking some bathtub gin? 
<laughs> what? <laughs> okay, now that's enough. That's way beyond the pale. Stop it, Rusty. Stop. I wish you'd kick the bucket. <laughs> like it. what? Kick the bucket. What are you talking about? You said pale. <laughs> <laughs> bucket. It's a synonym. Okay, I, 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 yeah, that's right. Okay, now that's ridiculous. You're the dummy. Okay. Stop. I'm sorry, Dennis. This is going nowhere. This is ridiculous. I apologize for wrestling. <laughs> oh, Jesus, it's so crazy. It's gotten so crazy over the years. <laughs> I can't go on with this. This is, this, is just, this is just an abuse to the whole idea. All right. Now, what what separates Rusty's old man voice from the old Holocaust denier's voice? What? Give oh, me give me that voice. You don't want to hear, hear from him, do you? Well, I know Rusty's just wetted the palate for Alex, a little more puppetry. I swore I'd never use this guy. <laughs> it's like the Stones doing Sympathy for the Devil after Altamont. Yeah, there we never go. Alec, see you play Alec how are you? Mm -hmm. I'm okay, I guess. Yeah, I suppose. What do, you, what do you think of this Christmas? What do I think of it? I'm not going to celebrate no holiday where... A bunch of bearded New Yorkers killed our savior. Hey, hey, come on now. <laughs> You're going back in the case. I'm sorry, Dennis. Oh, Lord. Like that you, didn't quite, you didn't quite have control of the posse today, but I realize it's the holidays are amongst us and uh, that they're a little petulant this oh, time of never, year. I can never keep these guys under control. Uh, Lorman, do you still have the puppet? Are you still doing the Holocaust denier puppet? Is he still with you? <laughs> Uh, it turned out he's wildly unsuccessful. <laughs> <laughs>